What's up, YouTube? This is a Tobo Trail. Do something I said I was going to do when I started doing all this, and turns out I'm just like everybody else, and I, I forgot to do it as well. So uh, I had a lot of trouble finding any kind of lighter or cutter reviews on the internet. There's a few here and there, and uh, I don't actually have very many lighters with me. I got a whole ton of them at home, and I'm going to do another one when I get back to the house. But uh, I got a a few here. I'm going to do a little short lighter review. I had a lot of trouble with a lot of different lighters, so you know, and some of some cutters. So I'm gonna uh, gonna go through that real quick and just kind of give my impressions. Uh, I work on a towboat, there, hence the towboat trail thing. Uh, that means I fly to work a lot of times, and unfortunately, with the uh, way the TSA regulations are you can't fly with a butane lighter or torch lighter not even if it's empty and they have the Calibri case and all that stuff you can't fly with that either uh, that case is great it looks great bulletproof whatever still can't fly with it uh, you make it throw one in your bag and get away with it nine times out of ten but if they find it they're gonna throw it in the garbage uh, you can fly with Bix all day long but not a torch so I have collected a a lot of cheap lighters because when I go off the boat, I want to smoke a cigar. I'll grab a a cheap lighter to make sure I've got one, uh, or if I'm getting on a vessel that's not mine. So, without further ado, I'll show you the last one I bought here. Uh, well, it's not the last one I bought, but I bought this a couple of hitches ago. It's a uh, Vertigo, okay which is not a bad brand comes with a case got it at a little cigarette shop that has a little humidor it's right by the airport in St. Louis uh, actually it turned out to be a pretty good lighter works almost every time no construction issues you know you stuff's loose on it but it's really easy to adjust the flame it was a ten dollar lighter and it's just as good as the uh, thirty something dollar Zycar I bought which I had to completely I gave up on a friend of mine went through the guts of it and got it actually working so I've had a lot of trouble with the Zycar lighters and you know Zycar is one of my favorite brands my my favorite brand of cutter and they also have some very good cases but their lighters no matter what you spend on them, the cheap ones or the expensive ones I've, I've handled both kinds and they leave something to be desired, but not picking on Zycar, because uh, I find out that's that's pretty much the way with everybody. Doesn't matter how much you spend on one. Uh, my best friend's got a uh, big uh, Magma T Prometheus, got a fire lighter, and it uh it broke on him. He's only used it three times. Another guy got this working on the boat with me. He's got the exact same lighter. He used it for probably three or four hitches. And this is an $85 lighter and it stopped working and it's the igniter the the gas flow works but you squeeze the side and it doesn't click the adjustment it still works inside but the adjustment kind of wears off and then they want to charge him $15 to fix it plus the shipping so I don't know for an $85 lighter I'd expect it to work at least a couple years but you know you just can't seem to find that kind of quality here's one of the uh, owner of Hill Hill uh, Tobacco Hill Cigar uh, Hill Hill Cigar Company in St. Louis the Hill District St. Louis very very nice shop highly recommend it uh, first time I was in there he gave me this one he said this is I told him I just need a cheap lighter and he had these sitting out on the counter and the other ones in the case he said this is his favorite golf lighter you know in case you lose it and it uh, works pretty good and also it's about a ten dollar lighter but he has a price on it but he gave this to me for free, so this was a gimme. And I've I've only had it a couple days, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a cool little adjustment. You you pop that little lever out, and it gives you a gives you a handle to uh, adjust the fuel flow, and it just pops back on there. I'm not even sure the brand on this tough wing torch. This is a little Chinese torch. Yeah, but it works. This one I got is a kind of a 
deal from CCI and this is a Flint Fire Calibri which is a you know kind of a luxury brand, brand of lighter I got it, it was in pieces in the bag, it fell apart the striker was off of it this part here and I had to put it on a couple different ways because it'll only go on it'll go on two ways but it'll only strike the flint in one uh, that part there can lift up and you can kind of see the where the flint goes down in there the striker wheel and uh, when you close it thing in the back sinks in when you open it, it comes out and that's the uh, fuel release so you just press it strike it and works good now didn't when I got it though had to work on it you get something new you shouldn't have to work on it all the time but uh you know oh well so thumbs down on that one looks cool but I would definitely not want that to be the only lighter I had to go to and then you got the plain old fiberglass Zycar a friend of mine gave me this as a gift I gave him a Zippo Blue that I had which is also a nice lighter except you can't adjust the flame and that's the thing you want to do on all your cigar torches is they run low on fuel you amp up the flame a little bit and it, you know you can get a little more out of it. Zippo is supposed to do it automatically but I would rather be able to adjust the flame on them but you can't do it on the Zippo and uh, it's a cool lighter though I gave it to him not because I didn't like it but because he was a good buddy of mine and you know I was just being nice and he, he bought me this so this is the only Zycar that I actually have and it's the cheapest one uh, the, the better ones than fancier ones are supposedly got better steel but this one I don't know it's, it's super sharp it's worked without fail it cuts cleanly it doesn't uh, doesn't tear the cigar it's got a good snap locks closed so if you want a Zycar going famous smoke or something you can find these for 30 bucks you know $26 stuff like that on sale all the time you don't have to go and buy the 50 and 60 dollar ones uh, which I, I want one of the new pretty ones of course because I like cigar stuff but you know this fiberglass one it's perfectly fine. I've cut hundreds of cigars with it. No problem. I've had the Cuban Crafters Perfect Cutter. And uh, I gave that to a buddy of mine for helping me out. And that also is an excellent cutter. I've got a couple of friends that they use that consistently. Because they, they smoke a lot when they drive their car. Me, I, I mostly smoke when I'm on the boat. And I don't, I don't really like smoking and driving cars too much. Because the wind blowing through the window kind of messes up the burn. I do do it, but not very often not enough to where I need a special cutter so uh, you know Zycar granite gray whatever and it's a, it's a good little cutter so anyway that's uh that's just a few little lighters I have on me right now and I've got a couple more on the boat I may dig out and I've got uh, some pretty cool ones at home uh, my ultimate if you're watching this and you want to know what's the best lighter the only lighter I've ever seen the only lighter I've ever had that I've ever read about that has no problems and is an excellent quality lighter but is expensive is the original Blazer PB207 looks like a little propane bottle they got the new colored models out and I've got a black colored one with a clear bottom so you can see the fuel level it's an excellent lighter lights good uh, the only thing I don't like about the PB207 is you need a screwdriver to adjust the torch level but I find that you don't have to adjust it very much and it will get very hot it was actually designed for soldering and stuff like that it's not even designed to be a lighter but it's a pocket torch and it is a, a an excellent lighter for toasting cigars inside outside uh, every day I don't have it with me because I fly all the time and I'm afraid if I bring it to the boat and then I fly home I won't have it when I'm home and it's it's my favorite lighter I'll probably end up getting another one but it, that was actually a Christmas gift from my best friend because every time I, I was uh, around him I always playing with his lighter because I really like that really like the PB207 so forget all the ST DuPonts and all that kind of stuff I'd love to buy a couple hundred dollar lighter but I just can't seem to do that I just there's no point in it to me but uh 
yeah, the Blazer PB207. I, I really find that's an excellent lighter. So, anyhow, smoke on the water, Tobo Trail. And for those that are wondering, I'm smoking a Black Knight, a little stinky junior here. These have been aging a couple months now, and uh, they're turning out okay. They're kind of rough at first when you first get them. They, you really got to let these sit a while. But once you do, these Oliveris uh, Black Knights, they're, uh, they're real good sticks. Anyhow, Tobo Trail, smoke on the water.